Eric Ten Hag explains why loyalty was key factor in Man Ut coaching shakeup with Ruud van Nistelrooy among staff members to arrive at Old Trafford. What happened? Van Nistelrooy, along with Rene Haag, has secured a two-year contract as part of Ten Hag's revamped coaching setup following his contract extension until 2026. This marks the former striker's first association with the Red Devils since his departure in 2006. The bigger picture, Ten Hag reasoned that Nistelrooy's return is part of a broader effort to integrate familiar faces and trusted professionals within the club as he aims to bring about a cultural shift, emphasizing loyalty and expertise. In addition to Van Nistelrooy and Haig, Jel Ten Rawalar has also been brought on board as the first team goalkeeping coach. This is nothing short of a coup as Ten Rawalar had initially agreed to join Ajax just two months prior. What Ten Hag said, addressing concerns about the influx of Dutch coaches, Ten Hag was clear that expertise took precedence over nationality. If you want to get better, you have to innovate, he stated in an interview with Ad Sport World. Yes, we have looked closely at that, but when it comes to Mitchell van der Gogh, for example, with whom I have worked fantastically, things were a little different. He wanted to become a head coach again. Then that is the time to break up. I look at quality. This is the Premier League. Not only do you look at the absolute top when composing your group of players, this also applies to the coaches, specialists, and staff members. In almost the entire English top management, you see that managers surround themselves with international top people, often people with whom they have a relationship of trust or who they already know. It was no different at Liverpool under Jurgen Klopp and now under Arne Slot. But you see it everywhere. At Manchester City, at Arsenal, at Spurs, at Aston Villa, Spaniards, Germans, Dutch, Australians, you name it. I started looking for people who I know are good. Loyalty is also a thing. Ruud van Nistelrooy, a fantastic, experienced coach with United DNA. We have a talented British coach in Darren Fletcher. Rene was someone with the same profile as Mitchell had, a very good and experienced, analytically strong field coach. And Jel Ten Rawalar has trained three Dutch internationals, including Bart Verbruggen. With his innovative training material, he is one of the great talents when it comes to modern goalkeeper training. Did I do you know, the decision to retain Ten Hag came after a challenging season for Manchester United, which saw the club finish eighth in the Premier League standings. Despite this, his ability to lead the team to an FA Cup victory against Manchester City at Wembley was crucial in retaining the job. What next? As United prepares for the upcoming season, the club's focus is on leveraging the expertise and loyalty of its revamped coaching staff. Ten Hag's strategic appointments and the backing from the club's management, in the form of crucial signings like Joshua Xerxy and Lenny Euro, signal a renewed commitment to excellence. They are set to fly to the United States next week, where they will friendlies against Arsenal, Real Biddies and Liverpool as part of their pre-season preparations. In other news, Manchester United are increasingly unlikely to take advantage of the option to sign Sofian Amrabat on a permanent basis from Fiorentina, as boss Eric Ten Hag is keen to land Paris. St. Germain defensive midfielder Manuel Ugart as he aims to strengthen his Old Trafford squad, GIVEM and SPORT sources have revealed. The Red Devils continued their recruitment drive with the acquisition of teenage central defender Lenny Euro, thanks to a deal worth up to £59 million being agreed with Lille. But plans have been put in place to draft in further reinforcements ahead of the August 30th transfer deadline. Although Netherlands international Joshua Xerxy has also bolstered Manchester United's attack, having completed a £36.5 million switch from Bologna New sporting director Dan Ashworth is working closely with Ten Hag to oversee further incomings and outgoings as the upcoming season edges closer. Red Devils not expected to keep Amrabat. GMS sources close to Manchester United have confirmed that it would come as a surprise if Amrabat is handed the opportunity to stay at Old Trafford on a permanent basis as PSG's Ugard has been pinpointed as their leading defensive midfield target for the remainder of the transfer window. The Morocco international made 30 appearances after linking up with the Red Devils for the majority of the 2023-24 campaign, but he has been left in limbo ahead of the fast-approaching new season as Ten Hag has put off making a final decision on whether to retain his services. Although Amrabat is on course to be told whether Manchester United are prepared to make him a permanent member of their squad in the coming days, GMS sources have been informed that he only has a future with the Premier League giants if a move for Ugart proves difficult and alternative avenues are blocked off.
The Red Devils will have forked out close to 30 million pounds if they keep the 27-year-old, having included a 21.4 million pounds purchase option in an initial loan deal worth 8.5 million pounds, but it is clear that Ten Hag is desperate to secure an upgrade instead of pushing the hierarchy to take advantage. GMS sources have learned that Manchester United are only being linked with handing Amrabat a Premier League lifeline because they have been unable to source a replacement at this stage, but there is a slim chance of a fresh loan agreement or cut price deal being on the cards despite original indications being that his time at Old Trafford was up. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.